Hello, my friends. I am here today to discuss and share with you the therapeutic as well as the energetic applications of each of the oils as found in the BOGO box in June 2022. And so on your screen now, you will see th one of three images that I'm going to share with you. So if you are able to pull that up on your screen and have a look, you will notice that there are all of the products that were included as part of the BOGO box um, that are imaged on your screen. And we're going to be going through each one of these in a clockwise direction. So maybe you'd like to grab your oils right now. Maybe you have them scattered around the house, just like I do, <laughs> and you'd like to grab them so that you too can apply the oils energetically on your aura, your auric field, your energetic body, as I'm going through them with you. I'll give you a couple of moments to do that now. For those of you that I have not yet met before, my name is Ariana Pinna from ariana.com and I am a holistic health and wellness practitioner, almost therapist, and I work with uh, flower remedies, essential oils, yoga practices, including meditation and breath work and mindset practices such as neuro-linguistic programming and emotional mentoring to support people to help them live their best lives basically. And one of the things that I found that is crucial to every single healing modality that I include, one of the things that creates this firm foundation from which all healing work can grow is this deep understanding that we're all returning to love. We're all returning to this place within ourselves that we feel loved, that we know we are love, that we love ourselves, that we are in deep acceptance and compassion for ourselves and others. And from that place, we can go out in the world and just share what we have to offer. And so it's with that that I share this information about the essential oils that are included in the BOGO box, which I'm not sure if doTERRA meant to do this, but a lot of these oils are really all about healing uh, energetically, about cohesion, about leadership, um, and energetically really just coming back into our center so that we can come from that place when we're out in the world sharing our gifts. And so you will also be given these slides, these little templates that you can download, uh, keep on hand. And the other two of these three slides really goes through a lot of the therapeutic applications as well. So if the energetic applications just aren't your jam, then you're welcome to enjoy the therapeutic applications as I've mentioned them on the next two slides, the next two tiles. Without further ado, let's begin. We'll start off with Lavender Peace. So Lavender Peace is an incredible blend oh, that doTERRA have created with lavender as its main ingredient, followed by cedarwood, hoewood, ylang ylang, marjoram, Roman chamomile, vetiver, vanilla, and Hawaiian sandalwood. The energetic application that I enjoy the most with this blend is one drop on yin tang, which is on the third eye center, the brow center. So go ahead and just touch the top of your essential oil bottle. You probably have a little bit of oil residual left from your previous application. And if you don't, you could just turn the bottle sideways, allow for a tiny bit of essential oil to be on any one of your, um, three middle fingers and then just very gently place that finger with the oil onto your third eye. So I place it on the middle finger and I gently apply it onto the third eye and you can feel around this area for the spot where your finger just wants to land. You don't have to get it exactly right. The oil will traverse energetically to where it's meant to. Close your eyes if that feels more comfortable. And I'm just gonna remove my hand so that I can talk directly into the mic.
the idea with allowing this point to rest with the oil is really about calming down the nervous system, especially when we're in states of restlessness and uh, without this getting to the point where it's causing insomnia or irritation, we want to allow for the oil on this point to relax us, calm us. And you can just wait here for a few more breaths. Notice if your breath has changed at all. And there's a softening in through the facial muscles. And I really love starting the practice like this because this idea of closing down the eyes and having a gentle oil like lavender peace on this point really does bring us into the present moment. You're probably hearing the zoo underneath my desk. <laughs> and my pups are arguing over their bone, so I might do some lavender piece on their yin tang too. <laughs> you can let go of that application whenever you're ready. Keep your eyes closed if that feels good. And whenever you're complete, you can open the eyes. The next application that we're going to work with is tea tree. So grab your tea tree. So there's a therapeutic application that's listed on this tile, which is really all about gum health and uh, oral health by using tea tree uh, on your dental floss so that you can really help your gums with, anti with the antibiotic properties of tea tree. But from an energetic perspective, I'm going to teach you how to use tea tree oil to cleanse and clear your aura, your auric field, your field. Now, tea tree is a very healing oil. It creates an energetic force around us, a very soft, gentle, protective force. And I'm recording this on the day before the new moon. So it's very apt that I'm speaking to tea tree because tea tree is a beautiful oil to use to set intentions. And on a new moon, this is generally what we do is we set an intention for the cycle yet to come. And so what we'll do is take one drop of tea tree in the palm of your hand and then rub your palms together and take a deep breath in. And as you're breathing out, set your intention for the next cycle in your life, whether it's the moon cycle or whatever it is that you've got going on in your life that you'd like to set an intention for. So taking a deep breath in, you can hold the breath if that feels comfortable for as long as feels comfortable for you. And then as you breathe out, set that intention, almost as if you're breathing the intention out into your field. And then you're just going to waft the hands up and around your crown. You're not really touching your head. You're moving your hands away and all around you, which in essence is drawing tea tree into your field. So you're moving your hands in and around. I'm only showing you what I'm doing in front of my face because that's where the camera is, but you're welcome to stand up and really move your hands in every directions all around your body so that the tea tree essential oil, the, the essence of the plant can blend its way into your auric field. And you could also fluff your aura if you know how to do that. 
and or use your hands to smooth out your field with tea tree applied to your palms. So I'll give you a moment to finish that. Really enjoying the practice of moving the body and allowing for this oil to nurture and protect your field. Okay, the third oil we're going to look at is called Hinoki. Hinoki. <laughs> um, hinoki is a really great oil to use for um, communication. And so I've mentioned a therapeutic application on your screen that you can see now, which is just really just rub the hands, neck, the bottom of the feet with some diluted hinoki after a long day <laughs> before bed. But what I'd love to teach you is how to use hinoki to connect the throat and the sacral centers of your body, the energy centers, so that you can bring to life anything that you've got stirring inside of you in a way that's communicated wisely with love, with compassion, and in a way that really does deliver your message. Quite often we have these really good intentions. We have these really amazing things that we want to bring out into the world, but we just don't know how to communicate them out. And that could be how we want a relationship to go or how we want a business to run or how we want our career to move forward or a difficult conversation with a colleague. All of these can really be supported by Hinoki. So to begin with, you will take a drop of Hinoki this is going to be now layered on top of the tea tree. So a really beautiful practice uh, to layer your oils as well. You'll rub your palms together, take a breath in, and then as you breathe out, place your left hand onto your throat center and your right hand onto your sacral center. Breathing in. Left hand on throat, very gently, right hand on your sacral, just underneath your belly button, cup your lower belly. And I'm not holding these centers tight. They're very gently placed hands. There's no gripping, there's no tightening of the grip or the fingers. It's just gently placed over these centers and now what I'd like for you to do is tuck your chin in ever so slightly so that you're resting your chin on the back of the hand. And this will naturally lengthen through the back of the neck. Your right hand is on your lower belly. And your left hand is on your throat, the front of the neck. Chin tucked ever so slightly, back of the neck open. Your arms are relaxed. Your eyes are closed if that feels good. And stay here for a few breaths. If visualization is your thing, you can visualize a circle, a ring of light that starts at the throat center, moves down the back body connects into your right hand at your sacral center and then moves up your front body to meet your left hand at the throat center. So a circle that goes from the front of the body to the back of the body moving down the back up the front. And notice if you start to clench your jaw or tighten your grip or lift the shoulders up at all and then just breathe into those centers, those parts of your body that feel tense, slow and steady, relaxing, just allowing this energetic connection to form so that you're able to deliver your message to the world in a way that is fruitful kind, effective.
There is so much going on in the world at present. And this is a beautiful practice to do. Whenever you feel a little bit overwhelmed or like your voice is just not being heard, like you feel suppressed, oppressed. And this is not going to change your demeanor such that you go out and start shouting things from the rooftop, but it will connect your passion center, your creative center to your throat so that whatever you've got inside of you, whatever is to and for your highest good and for the good of all will be explored and communicated. Take one more breath here. Deep breath out. And release. You may want to shake the hands off a bit, so just shake out the wrists, even flick through the fingers. Yeah. Okay, let's move through to lemon myrtle. Now, lemon myrtle is an oil that is really great. Oh, so good. If you've got your lemon myrtle right now, just take a deep breath in, a deep, deep, deep breath in, and notice how the energetic shift occurs by uplifting and clarifying your energy just by simply smelling the oil. Mm. Now, lemon myrtle is really great for times when you're feeling congested and tight in the chest. And in the same way that it can help to open up through the chest, it can help to open us up to new experiences and especially when we are in a leadership position and we're finding that those that we're leading or supporting guiding there's a little bit of tension going on there so what i would recommend you do if you are facilitating or leading a group that you diffuse some lemon myrtle in the room prior or you use a spritzer which is uh, an amber bottle with perhaps some witch hazel or mineralized water and add some lemon myrtle and spritz it around the room. The energy of lemon myrtle will not only bring about a sense of clarification for you as the leader, but it will also clarify and clear the space in which you are leading. And if you're doing it virtually, you can still do that for your space and hold the vision of the container you're working with virtually and bring lemon myrtle into that virtual space to do its work. And this is also a really great practice when you are setting intentions as a group, as a leadership group or as a study group or anything like that. So say you're opening up a course and you're doing an opening ceremony or perhaps you are having a meeting with a group of people and you're starting a new project and you need to set the intention for how you want the project or the course modules or whatever it is to, to uh, come through, then you may use lemon myrtle to help you set that intention and help seal the intention through the space and uh, with the entity in mind. And what I mean by that is, uh, let's just use one of the examples. If I'm opening up a program, which I have done many times with lemon, lemon myrtle diffusing, is that I will set an intention at the beginning of the course with the students in the course and whether I ask them to speak their intentions out loud or I simply bring about the intentions of how I expect for the course to run, I may at the end of it uh, end the recording and spritz some lemon myrtle just to seal that intention in the space. And the entity of my program, for example, Lessons in Truth, my energy medicine mentorship, the entity of that program is then included in that intention setting. And then she holds space as the leader of that group. And then I just simply become the facilitator. 
So that lit, lit lessons in truth, is the leadership. And I am the facilitator for her leadership. And we've all set the intention together. So a really, really powerful oil, lemon myrtle, clarifying, intentional, mm, so good. In fact, when I smell lemon myrtle, I'm always brought to the moment at the beginning of a program, that excitement, that thrill, the exhilaration of knowing that you're with your students for however many months, you know, and that you're going to be ex experimenting and, and exploring new concepts with them. It's just such a beautiful feeling. So, okay. So the next oil we're going to look at is called eucalyptus. Mm. Eucalyptus. So I've got eucalyptus radiata. I think that's what everybody would have if you've purchased doTERRA. I wanted to read a little bit about uh, eucalyptus um, from a book written by Valerie Ann Warwood. She's just an incredible author. And I'm not going to read the whole thing, but what I did want to write is that eucalyptus is a precursor to the fragrances that exist on an angelic frequency. Its role is to encapsulate the spirit within the physical form. Its role is to encapsulate the spirit within the physical form. It encourages emotional balance, concentration, centering, and rationality. And for the application of um, eucalyptus, what I'd really love to encourage is that you add just one drop to your index finger and you actually do it bilaterally. So on both index fingers, and then I'll show you on the one side, there's a little notch between the shoulder and the collarbone. So if you run your hand through from the neck, through down the sh towards the shoulder, but when it gets to the collarbone, run your hand down, straight down, and you'll see there's a little notch, a little indent. I want you to place one of your index fingers on the one side and then find that same indent. It's just the perfect little indent. In fact, if you bring both hands in a crisscross shape across your chest, you'll notice the indent ever so, uh, it will be deeper. And you can just leave your index fingers there, cross your palms or your hands one on top of the other. And then a really beautiful practice that if this is enough for you and you want to stay here for three minutes, you can. But if you'd like something a little bit more, keeping your hips still, you're just going to rotate the thoracic body, the rib cage, from one side to the other. And you can go slowly or as quickly as you like. Keep your eyes closed. Therapeutically, you can use eucalyptus on the soles of your feet, on your chest. You can do this up to four times a day when you're feeling a little bit under the weather. This really opens up through the chest. And in the same way, we're actually doing that now, right? We're opening up, loosening the top body from the bottom body, calming the nervous system, recalibrating, and giving ourselves a beautiful hug, swaying from side to side. A wonderful way to remember that we always have ourselves in times when you feel alone, lonely, perhaps melancholic or sad because of that. You always have yourself 
and the allies that exist in realms that are not visible to the naked eye. Stay here. You can stop rocking if you have been. And then release the point. You can keep the eyes closed if you need just a moment to come back. And you're back. We'll move to another blend. Now I'm not going to physically show you how to do this, but the balance blend is an incredible blend that is inspired by the element of earth and is really all about grounding and centering. So what you really want to do with this is every single day, pop some balance on the bottom of your feet to promote this feeling of being calm, grounded, tranquil. And as you're doing that, you're calling on the spirit of the earth, of the plants that exist on the earth's uh, face and just really bringing about that sense of grounding and centering. Now I have already diluted mine. I have an actual rollable of balance, but if you have it in a 15 mil bottle, you can either do one of two things. So firstly, you can buy a dropper bottle and use balance with some carrier oil. You pop the whole 15 mil balance and top it up with coconut oil and use the dropper to uh, apply the oil or you can purchase rollables from your local stockist and <clears throat> fill up halfway with balance and fill it up with fractionated coconut oil. Or if you didn't have coconut oil, you can actually use balance without a carrier. However, I will suggest that if you are going to be popping it on the soles of the feet, that you use a carrier oil because it does spread the oil and the blend a little bit further than just simply using it on your, on your feet direct. However, I have used balance undiluted on my feet before. In fact, it does have coconut oil in balance already, not much, but it is in there. And so it does suffice when it comes to uh, needing to have your oils diluted. All right, my friends, we have another four oils to go. I wanted to keep this within half an hour. So I'm going to try and motor through the last four oils so that you have this recording in as little time as possible with the most information. Let's look at rosemary, for example. Uh, sorry for a minute. <laughs> Take a deep breath in. I'm going to enjoy rosemary with you here to reset. Oh, so good. All right. One drop of rosemary on the palm of your hand. Rub your palms together. Place your left hand on the crown of your head and your right hand on your lower back. Right on your lower back. This is just really helping to connect the crown and the base chakras, the energy centers that exist within the body, really having the crown and the base connected. If you want to close your eyes, you can imagine each vertebra in your spine lighting up with a pure bright white light. We'll only be here for a minute. Another way that you can use rosemary is in a detox bath, which I've added here on the screen. You can see, just put a couple, pop a couple, <laughs> pop a couple of drops of rosemary in a bath, add two cups of Epsom salts or magnesium flakes, add to a warm bath. And then if you want that extra bit of detox, add a cup of baking soda and soak for anything between 15 and 30 minutes such a beautiful way to detox and also as you're breathing rosemary in you are calming your nervous system opening up through the lungs 
And rosemary in itself is really all about expansion from an energetic point of view, which is why we use it to connect the crown and the base. So we're connecting them energetically, but we're also then calling for rosemary as an, an energetic ally to help with the expansion of our auric field in a protective and um, helpful way. Mm. Let go of your application. Take a breath in of your palms. So good. So good. We move on to magnolia. Magnolia is an oil that is incredibly helpful when it comes to relaxation, even more so than lavender, actually. So you can use magnolia on your way to bed. Pop a roll, a roll of the rollerball into your palms. Inhale the scent from your palms. You know, you cup your palms over your nose, just like we've been doing, and take three or four deep breaths of magnolia just before you go to bed and you will have the most beautiful sleep, I promise you. You will then start to recognize the scent of magnolia being an anchor for sleep and within a few goes, you will notice how magnolia just sits, sends you into a slumber without you really needing to do anything other than just smell it. It's an incredible oil. Now, Roly, uh, is one of the oils that I teach the most uh, because I apply it to ear shenmen daily. <laughs> I you can pop a couple of drops actually. Just roll. Let's all do it together quickly. You will have seen me do this at one stage or another. I am always teaching how to relax and reset the nervous system with this application. It's the easiest one to do, and with neroli. I know that I've done this in the past with bergamo as well, but if you can do this to yourself or even your children, anyone in your life that you feel is a little bit stressed, strung out, you will almost, it's noticeable how this application will calm down the nervous system. And the longer you hold it, which is not to say you must hold it for three minutes, but if you can still tell that the person you're doing it to, even yourself, feels a little bit edgy, hold it there until the point where you feel your entire system relax. So it's this little point, you'll see it on your screen there right next to a rolly. It's a point in your ear at the triangular fossa of the inner, not the inner ear, but the outer inner ear, if you know what I mean, just above the flap of your ear. Your pinky fingers fit in there so well so so well now we're not going to hold here for three minutes but but i did it even this morning and i noticed how one minute i was fine i was relaxed i was breathing soft and gentle but the longer i held this point the more the muscles in my face started to soften the more my shoulders relaxed it felt like my entire body just went into recalibration and i highly recommend that you do this if there's one thing you're going to do daily with any of the oils in the boga box this is it one to three minutes of neroli on ear shen men as an application daily and then finally my friends we've got turmeric which is known as the oil of restoration and harmony so i am not a fan of using turmeric um on my body as a massage oil. I don't really love the smell of it. However, I know a lot of people use it for skin health and skin care. My favorite way to use turmeric is in a diffuser. And I apply, or I add a couple of drops in a diffuser and I add geranium, lavender, cedarwood, and wild orange. And that has been one of my most favorite blends uh, with turmeric. Now, Another way that you can use it is popping a drop that is diluted. So you wouldn't just use it straight from the bottle. You would dilute it first with a little bit of uh, coconut oil and then place one hand onto the forehead like such and the other hand just on the solar plexus and hold this um, hand placement for anything up to three minutes again. So my hand, my right hand is placed just underneath my brow line 
or just underneath my sternum on my solar plexus and my left hand is on my forehead really connecting the third eye and the solar plexus restoring our self-esteem our will center the place where we go when we're feeling afraid intimidated depleted all of those places can be restored and harmonized with this hand placement left hand on forehead right hand on solar plexus and you just stay here for anything up to three minutes such a beautiful hand placement and of course turmeric with this hand placement really does supercharge it of course you can do it without it but really beautiful oil to bring about the state of harmony <laughs> don't love the smell of turmeric but it does bring this uh, energetic sense of inclusiveness and abundance and you know we really want to bring those energies those energetic frequencies into the solar plexus into the third eye so joining all of those things together to bring about change to cultivate change uh, and and healing not only of ourselves but then of the world around us so I really hope that that has helped with you using the oils energetically and if you have any questions at all anything 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 please reach out to me my website is ariana.com and there's a contact form on my website which i receive direct to my email or if you'd like to contact me on instagram you'll see that there's my handle right on your screen now at ariana pinna and i'm so happy to answer any questions or to support you with the use of your oils energetically anytime all right that's all from me. Thank you so much for sticking around with me, for hanging out with me today. And I really, really hope that you enjoy the applications of the oils that we've discussed. Bye for now.